as I think it is? I guess Messiah is the first place we met. Hala! Yeah. I was a snake eye and you were a silver sword. Who would have thought we'd end up on the same team? You make an odd pair, it's true. You guys are the odd ones, running with a Renin. Sword okay? A little water's not Get lost! Let me see the fact! Let me see the fact! Let me I can carve through armor! Photon strike! Hit the round! Let me see the fact! Let me see the fact! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Let's talk back here to the fact! Cut them apart to your heart if you can. I'll show you how you know I can be! An astro- That's my cue! I'm on it! Shut, Shut him down! Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Lightning orb! Uh, I'm out! Swallow blade! He's dead! Lightning orb! Do it. Do it. I... I think I'm getting stronger!
We're in good form! It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out! Like we won. But a bonus like this should be easy. Hey, go, go, go. Save you! Mega Red Field! Uh, not today! Not Do it! Hey. Double Demon Bang! Let's go! Into the Blow away! Double Demon Bang! Your training paid off. Now I'm in this 
My fists are crushing it out there! All this walking up and down is a pain. Yeah, I wish we could just... go straight through without all this hassle. On the other hand, the collapsed parts let you reach some places you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Now that you mention it, the ceiling's not... Get it together! We need you in form! Do it! Lightning form! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! See that? That training's paying off! I'll smash you! I'm on a roll now! Do it! Here comes! Bulls up! Raging Cascade! Swallow Blade! Barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. Hey, Law. Back when we left Sisladen, you remember how you said, so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. Uh. Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized, no matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Renin brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break. Oh, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? 
Wow. I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? No! Okay? It's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. Something. We're finally here. Elda Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied, fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <clears throat> what? Oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. Uh, that's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is... incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. If I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? 
beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? What's wrong? Huh? Yes! this doing here? <laughs> hey! Mm hmm. Just great. That can't be. Maybe we should have left them alone. Thanks, Sheila. Why are you thanking me?
You made quick work of us. Want me to pick up your slot then? Just pointing at the freak. Now, if they just sit still. See ya. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Double Steven Fang. Do it. I need to be stronger. I hate camping out. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. Why do you keep staring at me? Shion, could we talk a moment? Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll, uh, stop bothering you then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh... Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to... chit-chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone at this point. You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Morning. Ready to head out? Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Maybe something's going on in the forest.
Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Let's dispose of the trash. This should make for some good weapon crafting material. Oh. You okay? You made a weird sound. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking how amazing this view is. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen mountains and fields before? Actually, now that I think about it, it's not every day we get to enjoy views like this. You too? Yeah. Calaglia has rocky landscapes, but the terrain here is completely different. Like, you see that mountain over there? Doesn't it look like a big wave that somebody turned into stone? Right? And those ones look like the horns or claws of some giant monster. I'm surprised they managed to stay up. Yeah, just be thankful we don't have to pass under them. Actually, they won't come tumbling down that easily. <sighs> you sure about that? Menencia harvests Earth energy, which explains why the topography is so varied here. It's also why those rocks are bound to be sturdy. So all that astral energy is also what makes this realm look so lush, then? Does astral energy really have that much of an impact on the land? Yeah. Is that why even that mountain looks the way that it does? The stronger the energy is, the greater impact it has on lots of things. So yes, like a great big fire. But these imbalances are too pronounced to be nature's work. It's not how Dana would otherwise naturally look. If it's not natural, then you mean all of this is the Renan's doing? <sighs> when you put it like that, even something as nice looking as this starts to feel wrong. <sighs> Just great. I guess... Yeah! Great! Oh man, I hope Don't I live long enough to regret this! Blow away! Ignore it! <laughs> Get lost! I'm on! Ready? Flash! Power to the hurricane! Blue away! We're These little Get ones are hardly the worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. We did it! <laughs> I can feel my power growing! Hey, would you look at that? Green as far as the eye can see. I think even the zoop... An opponent like this should be easy. Now we see what I can do! Here's the evil! This one's mine! Go Burn! you! We're cleaning out. Let me take the rest of the place. Well, someone's feeling lively. 
Practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. I hate camping out. No backing down! Not on my Here's the evil! Come and face me! No. Freeze, Lancer! Hot dance in the wind! Great oh. fear. Here's the evil. Let the horsemen handle this. Blow away. I must take guts to fight without a weapon. Air I'm not brave. I just do what I have to do. If you're ever in a pinch, just say the word. So those are Dan and Astral Arts. Oh, something you want to say? Not so long as you keep them pointed toward the enemy. Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the front. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. The astral energy is surging around me. How do you even know about all that astrally stuff? Same way I know what you do in the middle of the night. What? Are you serious? They're surrounding us! No! Be still! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more power. Cut them apart to your heart, Satan. The tide of battle has turned. That's the power of comrades in arms. Right. Comrades in arms. What? Too sentimental? Together, that wasn't even a problem. Friends, Hoodle?
This hill. I'm sensing a stronger concentration of astral energy around it. Oh, this the hell? Break yourself. This one's tough. Glacial spears. I'll Here's smash you. Come Here's one, come all. Come on, Steven. Come on. Ready to go. Ready and slash. In here. Do it. This is a Swallow blade. Eat this. Don't the tide of battle has turned. turned. That's the power of comrades in arms. Right. Comrades in arms. What? Too sentimental. Blew away. That freaking dust is. Double Steven Fang. Talon Hurricane. Slut. Now. Slut. Relax. Hit the wind. Air thrust. Steering. Slut. I'm out. Thunder blade. Double Steven Fang. Woo! Seems about right to me. There's nothing here. It doesn't even. Maybe something's going on in the forest. Go no further! Glacier, I'm on Here's the evil! Freeze the on. tide of battle has turned! That's the power of comrades in arms! Here, here! Comrades in arms! What? Too sentimental? These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Blow away. I'm on it. Yes, 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 Anything in armor is all mine. Here I go. I'm only getting I'm started. Blow this away. Double Steven Fang. I'm on it. Swallow Blade. Here's a healing. Fly. You got flyers. Yes, I've got yes. this. Let him walk me. Double Steven Fang. All yours. All right. It's showtime. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. One of your friends, Hoodle? I hate camping out. Of the trash. This one's mine. First strike. Not on my watch. Talon four. You got company. Lightning orb. Uh -huh. Ignite. Talon hurricane. First aid. Did they not teach you to say thank you in Dan? Mind free for a random gun. Sit still. Sion, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. All oh, back in their defense. Glad you have your uses. That's my cue. Shut them down. Sleep now. Blow away. Let's get you all out of the way. Let's go. Mega Ray. Winter. Let's go. One at a time. We're out. Let me take the rest of them. Whoa. Someone's feeling lively. Blow away. Raging Cascade. Don't look at me. Sleep now. I'll be saving this one. Blood. 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 Now. Ready to break. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Blow away! I can feel my precision improving.
will be a delicious piece of cake. Double Steven Fang! Hey, when did I get so popular? Gemini Aqua! I never miss! Roger that! Now you see what I can do! I guess you had your uses now and again. Told ya! Lies are stuck! Shame you're not like that all the time. I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! Leave the enemy's arms to me! We are freaking invincible! No place here! Worth our time. Let's go. Within the sky is mine. You cut them apart to your heart's content. I never miss the field. Well, someone seems in tip top form. Nothing new about that. And still as humble as ever. Up and out. Let's go. We turn the tables on it. There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. Move away. I'm on it. Tell the power to hold on. Look at you. Limits. Slow Amazing. I was only trying to be nice. You're most comfortable at a range, aren't you? You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back.
see a village over there. The people working in it look Danon. What the hell is going on here? Maybe something's going on in the forest. Yes. Yes. I don't believe this. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be raising animals in a place like this? Since we've decided to stop, we should make use of the opportunity. Do you mean me? It doesn't matter who.
Look, Renan's soldiers. Do the Renans control this city? I've never seen so many of them in one place before. No. Look at the cores on them. These people are all Danans. They're slaves. If they are, they're awfully well dressed. And they're smiling too. Something weird's going on here. Forgive the intrusion, but if I'm not mistaken, you're newcomers to Elda Menencia, yes? Please, you have no reason to be alarmed. My name is Drashen. I work at the Department for Welfare. Department for Welfare? We work to support the day-to-day -day living of all citizens. Welcoming newcomers to the realm is a part of our job, albeit one we rarely have the pleasure to perform. Let me guess. We get a free pair of shackles as a welcome gift. Perish the thought! Your trepidation is perfectly understandable, but I assure you, our way is quite different. <sighs> In the past, this realm was no different from any other, and run by a rather merciless ruler. But all of that changed once His Excellency, Lord Dohalim, assumed power seven years ago. Dohalim... Under him, for the first time in our lives, we Danans were treated with the respect we deserve. Lord Dohalim is adored by Danans throughout the realm, and we serve him with gladness. Am I hearing you right? The Danans here willingly serve a Renan lord? Please, see for yourself. You're free to go anywhere you like. Just ask if you should need anything. What is it? Spit it out. It's just, we came here to free everyone. Uh-huh. But the Danans of this realm are all happy to serve Dohalim. Are there any walls that even need tearing down? Who cares? That just makes our path to Dohalim that much clearer. I guess, but... Still, Drashen said we should check things out for ourselves. Maybe we should look around a bit, see what we learn. Everyone is all smiles. I've never seen a city so lively before. Everyone walking the streets looks so calm and happy. I guess it really is true they don't treat Danans as slaves here. Did they actually somehow achieve equality here? And if they did, why? To what end? Something here doesn't feel right even though they sure want to act like it does. What is going through that Lord Dohalim's mind, I wonder? 